Dennis Harmon is ready to patrol the border, all 611 miles of it. And we're keeping America safe every day. He and his 200 colleagues at U.S. Customs and Border Protection, Holton Sector, cover all of Maine, and most of it seems pretty easy to hide in. This is what much of the Maine Canadian border looks like. It's woods, and then there are those markers every couple of hundred feet. But there are also roads from Canada into the United States. Now, this one is closed, but that's not going to stop people who really want to come in here. Okay. I'm just going to go up here on that. The day we rode with him, I've got the media with me. One of Maine's six border patrol stations was closed. Two men on the Canadian side wouldn't get out of their car, stopping traffic for hours. In the 20 years I've almost been up here, maybe the third time, fourth time. Okay. While most people coming in and out of Maine use an official border crossing, Harmon and the 21,000 other border patrol agents across the country focus on the hundreds of thousands who don't. Unfortunately, we can't get the smugglers or the aliens to call a 1-800 number and say, hey, we got through. Even though they're likely not heard, they will be seen. A complex network of cameras and sensors is always watching these woods. And in the winter... Uh, snow is a great barrier, a great teller of, of tales. The number of people coming into the U.S. illegally through the northern border, the longest in the world, is much, much smaller than on the south. Arrests in the north make up just 1% of the total nationwide. But this year, agents in Maine actually saw a jump in people trying to get in illegally. There were 54 arrests in Maine last fiscal year, up from 30 the year before. Zero is the ideal number. Um, is an attainable number? I mean, not realistically, probably not. Nationally, after years of decline, the number of people trying to get in through the north was up 32 percent. Harmon blames part of the problem on Canada. Data from Border Patrol shows the majority of people coming into the U.S. illegally through the main border are Canadian. Over the last 10 years, Canadians have made up nearly half of all the arrests. Mexicans come in second. They can fly into Canada on it without having a visa, land, and then immediately make their way to the, the U.S.-Canadian border and try to attempt their illegal entry into the United States. Canadian officials don't view their loss as having a major impact and say there are Americans crossing the other way. Though there are talks about a border wall to our south, don't think about that here. In fact, the border is marked with this 40-foot-wide clearing. Today, it's being patrolled by helicopter. In warmer weather, boats patrol the St. Croix and St. John Rivers. These are the tools they have for now. Thousands more agents to cover this territory just isn't an option. We'd have to have an agent stationed about every, you know, 15 feet to be like the world's largest game of Red Rover, Red Rover. Instead, they rely on what they have and hope that, in itself, is a deterrent for illegal entry. Along the northern border in Holton, I'm David Charns, WMTW News 8. Now, a spokesperson for the Canadian government sent us this statement, which read in part, in the lead up to the visa lift, Canada worked closely with Mexican partners to put in place measures to protect Canada against the risks associated with non bona fide travel from Mexico. Since the visa lift, Canada has been closely monitoring migration tens from Mexico to ensure that it continues to meet Canada's requirements for visa-free travel.